hi everybody. I uh, came on here today as a request. Um, I, I guess how I set my painting situation up. Um, my studio is kind of a mess. I mean, I can show you some of the things that I do here, but it's um, it's kind of weird how I have everything set up here. Uh, <clears throat> it's very close and well. For for one thing, welcome. <laughs> Before I get started, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad to have you, and I hope that you enjoy this little video. It's not going to be very long, but if you want, you can um, actually ask me questions. I'll be happy to answer anything that comes around. Um, <clears throat> if you have anything that you'd like to ask, <clears throat> I know that uh, Saturdays are kind of hard to um, watch something because there's a lot of lives on and and uh, those kinds of things. And I only had this advertised for a little while. But uh, I did have a request to show you how I set my little area up. Um, right now, uh, I have been working um, on my drafting table, which you can see right in through here. Um, that is... Uh, because I've got this this back issue that just won't leave me alone. And uh, it's easier for me to sit. However, right now in this chair that I have, it's horrible. So I can't sit for a long period of time. And sometimes I do have to sit here for a long period of time when I'm doing a video with um, maybe Diana or, or you know, uh, doing an art video. And then I just forget about getting up a little bit and stretching. Um, but uh, basically, I've been working at the drafting table and uh, trying to just do something from above. So I, I bought this little thing. Um, I don't know if you can see it. I can turn this around, maybe. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. I don't know. Can you hear me? Let me put this. I don't know if I can. Okay. Uh, so this little thing is an above it. It's an above uh, above my table, and I can put a couple of cameras on here if I like. So I guess I better turn this off because this is just like wow. I'm not exactly sure if you can hear me through my other through my stream yard. Oops. I guess you can. Wait a minute. Am I echoing? I am having an issue with my computer, which isn't too helpful either. We don't need to echo, but I don't know if... Um, ah! See what is happening here? Oh, and I'm not sure what's going on. Okay. All right, let's see here. I don't think we're muted, so you should be able to hear me. Uh, if you can't, please let me know uh, in the comments. Um, if you can't hear me, uh, I don't know. It should be coming through one of these video cams that I have. So, uh, anyways, I bought this little thing here so that I could actually uh, do a camera above. And this is just like a Nexico, Nexico, I think it's called Nexico cam, little cam. It's sort of like, um, oh gosh, it's just a tiny little thing. But it has that light, which is nice sometimes, so it helps to make things brighter. And um, this is just the camps that I would be working on. Uh, I always have my water. Um, you can see over here. My water is, oh, all the messes that I have here, too. I have a little uh, container of fresh water, usually. My brushes are right over here. This could probably fall, plus my pencils. And um, this thing isn't too too strong here. I I can't get the thing off in order to fix it, and it's just been a real pain. 
But there we go. Now, uh, I have my brushes, like I said. Um, I have my pencil sharpener here. I have uh, my drink. Right now I'm having some coffee because I was getting very tired. Uh, when you're in a lot of pain, you tend to get tired pretty quick. So usually by midday, I am starting to get exhausted, which is not a good thing, but that's what happens. Then I have, now this is a good little uh, thing to have. This is a Stay Wet palette. And um, you you wet the sponge. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sponge it with some water. And this will keep uh, the paints. I use acrylic most of the time. So this kind of keeps things nice and moist. And then I have the uh, Stay Wet palette paper that goes inside. And this, I'll, I'll wet this as well, just to keep things nice and moist. And then you can close it and the paints will stay in there for, for a few days that they, uh, after a couple of a week or so, it starts to get moldy. So you don't want to keep them in there that long. Um, the other thing is I have some of my paints arranged real close and I also, um, have a little, let's see if I can get this up here without knocking over my computer. Uh, my computer is just about on his last leg. It's been like that for a while. Uh, I have a little basket here where I put my paints in that I'm going to be using uh, for my paintings that I'm going to be doing. Uh, some of the paintings I keep, I mean, some of the paints I keep in here are the ones that I use a lot, um, the ones that I might be using. I also have this little thing that helps to, um, you know, get the paint uh, pushed up like here with this yellow ochre. If I do this. It takes a little work, but it will bring the paint to the top, you know, so it kind of keeps this nice and flat. It's kind of a nice little uh, tool. And I love this little basket. I got this at home, uh, Hobby Lobby. It was reduced to $5.99. I don't know what the original price was, probably $6 or something, but I really like the color and um, try to keep things coordinated here, but it's kind of hard. And uh, I use that quite a bit uh, for my paints. And that way I don't have to get up and look for them because I do have a um, divider here where I have baskets and all my paints are in all those baskets. I have so much that, you know, I just kind of, I'm trying to use most of that up. Uh, what else? Okay, so over here, I don't know if you can see this or not. Uh, let's see here if I can put this up where you can see. Oh my goodness, yes, what else? Um, let's see. Okay, so over here, you can see where I, it's kind of like where I keep my, my paints and things, is my um, easel. Uh, that's when I can stand because I, I really prefer standing and having an easel because it's very hard to paint flat and if you're a really good artist you really should have an easel because it gets distorted when you're painting flat you can't really see things the way you want and then i have another video camera um i don't know if you can see that one this one right here uh this video camera um that's my main camera, and I really enjoy that camera. It's nice. It gives a nice picture. It gives close-ups. It, it's great. Uh, then, of course, I have all my books and all my art supplies stashed over here um, in that corner. <laughs> As you can see, it's kind of messed up. Plus my, my uh, mic, which I'm not using at the moment, but sometimes I do use that mic, and it is um, important to have around. Um, so that's basically how I set things up. I mean, I keep it on my t desk here. Uh, I try to keep this 
certain area right in through here, not too cluttered, uh, because it can get, once I start painting, my brushes get there. I have my clean water. Um, I like to have at least, uh, I, I love uh, a palette knife like this because I can push things around. And this was, um, I did this, I got this started because I'm going to uh, paint uh, another painting like the one that you saw prior here. I'm, hi, Hedgehog Homestead, how are you? Thank you. Thank you. Glad you came in. Hope you are doing well today for a Saturday. It was so beautiful yesterday, and today it's all gloomy and it's cold. I mean, I was outside with a coat. Today, I'll probably have to wear a winter coat if I go outside. It's just, the weather is just unbelievable. I went and got a haircut yesterday. A little short, but I like it because it, it's easy to take care of. My hair was getting so darn bushy. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm hanging in there. Um, I just, uh, I cannot wait to go to the orthopedic doctor because I have just about at what my wits end for the pain that I am having in my back. It's just ridiculous. I've been with a pain management group for about a year and feel that they haven't really done anything. So I'm going to change and go to a specialist for the back. Uh, orthopedic doctor. So that's coming in April. And uh, although, you know, it's just, it's just annoying. It's just annoying. I can't walk. I can't do a lot of things because if I do too much, I, I suffer from it. So it's not one of my favorite, uh, it's not one of the best things, but you know what? I just offer it up to the Lord and just, you know, I understand. If that's the way my life to, is to be, I mean, Job had a lot worse than I do. So, uh, so anyways, <laughs> um, oh, thanks, thanks. I tried it. This is this is my space where I can escape and think about other things. Uh, I haven't been able to do too much lately, but I have done a few things. That I did this portrait here, which I love the way it turned out. Um, and because of that, uh, well, I actually sold this painting here. I have to get ready. I want to make uh, some uh, prints of it first before I, I sell it and, and get it ready for the actual sale, completed sale. Um, and I'm going to try to do another one of these with my face instead of someone else that I have no idea who this is. So, <laughs> so that is, um. That is my project. And then I have a couple other projects that I have to work on. I do uh, the Artsy Second Sunday, uh, which is a group of women or, and men that uh, do something um, every second Sunday. There is a subject that you paint or, or journal, however you want to do it. And um, I have to get that ready. And then there's a third Saturday, so I have to do that also. And last month, I couldn't do it. So, um, hopefully, you know, and I think Tuesday, I'm pretty sure Diana artfully blind with Diana and I are doing a, uh, video on, uh, doing some kind of artwork with our non-dominant hand. So I'm right-handed and left-handed, I cannot do. <laughs> so I, I don't know how that's going to work because that's going to be a real mess, um, I try playing piano and everything else like that with my left hand and my right hand. I can't get them to work together. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to draw anything. Uh, we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. So hopefully you can join. Hi, Grayscale. How you doing? Oh, you're driving. Oh, goodness sake. Well, you be careful driving. I just am doing this how I set my area up for painting. Uh, it's not that spectacular. <laughs> I have a few little um, inspirational things that keep me going. I have my little gnome. Uh, he's my... See, now he, he does have a little headgear on. And I guess you call that either a do-rag or a bandana. 
Now, um, Grace Gill calls it a do rag. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> he said so. <laughs> so, uh, but I love him. And then I have my Christmas one, my gnome from Christmas. He's kind of huge and he's always here with me. And my most favorite here is my daughter got me this for Christmas. And I think you guys may have already seen this. I don't know if um, Hedgehog has seen it, but I have my Bob Ross and he's a little bit of Christmassy, but you know what? I keep him here anyway, because he's, he's an inspiration. I know that when I first started painting, I would watch him. Uh, and I enjoyed him. Um, but then I found out later when I became um, an Alexander, uh, William Alexander certified painter, um, that Bob Ross took a lot of his ideas and used them for his own. Now, when you watch a video regarding uh, Bob Ross, you'll you'll not hear that in his video because there was some kind of a video i think it was on netflix and it, it didn't say anything about that but uh it did say something that this woman who um who was supposedly a friend of bob ross took everything away uh from uh the family bob ross family um which uh, which surprised me because I guess uh, the family shouldn't have to suffer because of what Bob Ross did. I mean, but I guess, oh, her name was, I think, Annette Kowalski. And uh, she, she um, if she's still living, I guess she gets all the proceeds that come from Bob Ross and his, his artwork. I mean, artwork and painting, paints and whatever Bob Ross sells, you know. So, oh, thanks. Yeah, I thought it was a little short, but you know what? My hair needed cut. I, I am a hairdresser. That was my first profession before I went to college. I started out as a cosmetologist and I have a teaching license and I had been cutting my hair for a while, but, um, I just got tired. Sometimes you just get tired of doing your own, you know? So I decided to go to a, a someone and get it cut. And this is it. This is what I got. And I love it. I mean, it's easy to take care of. Uh, I know when it starts going in, I can fluff it out a little bit more. And that Kowalski, that's who it is. Yeah. Yeah. That was kind of a, um, Sad. I don't know if you saw that, Grayscale, if you saw that uh, video, because that was pretty crummy. Uh, I thought, I mean, well, here's Bob Ross, who took everything away from William Alexander. Now, William Alexander was German. He came over here and he started that painting, that type of painting. And um, his magic white, everything, uh, he had that originally. And um, one of the artists that I have studied under is his name is Robert Warren, who was William Alexander Painter, um, told us about that in one of his painting sessions. Now, uh, Bob Ross was a student of William Alexander as well. And uh, Bob Ross um, and William Alexander became very close. But what happened, I don't know, but. Bob Ross decided to go off on his own and just take all of the things that he learned from William Alexander and copy it. He copied it. Uh, so, you know, even some of the things like happy little clouds and things like that, that was a William Alexander um, statement. So if you watch any of William Alexander's uh, painting tutorials that were are on YouTube, uh, you will find that as well. And um, I got so disappointed with my uh, things, William Alexander, because he passed away a while ago. Uh, I went through the training session and then they changed it all and um, changed the paints and everything because this guy comes in and decides that he wants to market it in a different way. 
And the woman who owned the rights, I guess, decided to follow what he said. So um, that kind of was a bummer. Uh, I was very disappointed. And, you know, you learn from things. But I, I know William Alexander wouldn't have been a, too appreciative of what happened there because, you know, it's just, it's all about money at the bottom line these days. It's all about money, unfortunately. Hi, Pasha Ford. Hi, how are you? Oh, you must be back. Are you back from your little vacation? Or are you still away? Now, um, yes, I'm not sure if uh, Grace Gill can see you or hear you or see your little, oh, good, uh, see your things because he's driving. So I guess when he comes to a stoplight or something like that, he can... He can put in a post, but right now he's driving. Let's see. Yeah, uh, William wanted to give the show back. Show to Bob. Uh, did he? Hmm. Yeah, well, on net, um, I guess when Bob Ross died, somehow she got all the rights to Bob Ross's... Um, you know, name and everything. And his, his son, Bob Ross's son, got nothing. And uh, I guess that really, that was really a painful moment for his son. So, yeah, so this is how I set things up. And then sometimes now, like for this one here that I'm going to do, this is my younger face. <laughs> so you have, to, you have to get get um get an idea of my younger face but i'm gonna trace this one here i want to get all the so i'm gonna just do this and probably that'll be the end of my my program but this is how one of the ways that i do this now i enlarge this because i wanted my face to be larger on this canvas this is a nine by twelve i believe canvas and um Sometimes this is how I do it. You know, I'll just trace it on there with graphite paper. So I am going to put down some, some froggy tape just to pack it down. And I probably, let's see, I'm going to come down a little bit more here. But I do want to get hair up in here. I may have made this just a tad too big, but I could put this over here a little bit more. And then I'm going to go in with my graphite paper. Yeah, so my setup is just... Just probably like most artists, however it's convenient and for them. My space is small, so I have to be very careful. Um, I don't kill myself in here <laughs> because that can happen. It's very tight. It's a very tight space. It's just a bedroom. It's a small bedroom. It used to be my mom's bedroom. And um, I told this story before. Uh, I was getting very, very discouraged with art. Um, I wasn't selling things. I wasn't getting into exhibiting. And I, I had no idea why. I mean, it was just one of those things. But I finally got into an exhibit. And right before she passed away, I was working on a pastel painting. It was poppies. It, it was very pretty. It is very pretty. Uh, I still have it. And I entered uh, that into an exhibit. And I won um, a prize for it. And um, I was really excited. You know, I wish my mom would have saw, uh, you know, had seen, would, had seen that. But uh, I decided since she didn't want me to give up art, she told me she didn't want me to give it up. Um, I decided to put my art room in her bedroom. So I feel that my mom is always with me this way. Yeah, she did them dirty. Oh, okay. He got sued, huh? Yeah, I guess that had to be something. I mean, that had to be uh, quite, 
quite an ordeal. Um, yeah, well, you know what? Things come around to people, um, however it goes. You know, I think that William Alexander was actually heartbroken over what happened with Bob. And maybe he did give everything to him. I don't know. Um, I don't know. But uh, I guess at first it really hurt him, you know, because he was a kind soul. He wasn't, he wasn't, me. he just, he didn't, I think what the problem was with William Alexander is he, he had that accent and probably it, it was hard for people to understand him. So that kind of, um, I think that's what kind of uh, pushed him to do that, maybe to give to Bob, because Bob had more of a, of course, Bob had that nice soft voice, and it was so, so, so nice. He didn't have, you know, it was nice, and he he made all the happy stuff happening in his video. So, I guess I guess he had the had the way of doing it, you know. So let me see. I'm just going to, I'm going to trace that. Now I'm using one of these. Um, I forget what these things are called. To trace. It's a tracing tool. Uh, and I'm going to use, I don't want to use the uh, side that's very point because I'll rip my paper. And I'm just hoping that this shows up because uh, I made my background a little darker. I started out with a lighter background, but I wanted to make it a little darker. And we will continue. Yes, she did him dirty. Yeah. Well, you know, that all, always comes around. The dirty deeds, um, they come around. They, You know, you don't think that. You get karma. Um, it isn't here on earth. It might be somewhere else. how I figure it. You can't do people wrong. Um, I had a boss, I think I was telling you guys this, oh, well, at one point somewhere along the line, <laughs> when, I, when I worked for the gas company, I had a boss. And um, when I first started, because I just got out of college, I mean, I was older, I never worked in a corporation. I didn't know how people were. I thought everybody was nice and nobody backstabbed and all that stuff. Well, I, I learned fast. But anyway, they called him Charlie Manson. And I thought, oh, I can't believe he's, <laughs> he's that good thing. You know? Well, he was. He was pretty mean. He, uh, he'd throw stuff at you and he'd write on your work in bad, uh, bad words. And, um, you know, like I wasn't trained in in how to lay pipe when I was in college. I I was in college for business. I'm and and I I theology. I was a minor. I almost minored in art. So being with this guy was like wow. And he when he yell at me, I never I never could figure out why. You know why? I was like in my thirties. What's he yelling at me? Like I'm a little kid. You know. Uh, so anyways, he retired and it, it was so weird because my daughter lives on the street, um, lives on the street and she was telling, well, it, this is, this is just the way it goes. She's telling me about this guy that just retired and, uh, he, he died, um, he had a freak accident and this was one year where we had severe high winds and I, I don't know why uh, he just retired and he was hit in the head by a branch from a tree and it killed him. And I said, oh, that's awful. I said, because they're going to go to the funeral. And uh, I, I didn't know who, I mean, I just said how awful that was. So she sends me the obituary and I said, oh my goodness, that's my old boss. So, I mean, <laughs> to me, that was like, whoa, that was awful. So, yeah, so that, that, <laughs> so that wasn't too good. So, if you don't forget to give me a thumbs up, folks, I, or I hope you give me a thumbs up. But I have so many stories that are kind of like, wow. But, um, yeah, that was, uh, that was one of the parts of working in a utility at that time. 
that was very painful. Um, a lot of sexual harassment. And how I just do not know how I got through through those years. Um, I know my phone is ringing, but I'm not answering it at this point. Uh, I don't know what time is it. It's probably some. Well, anyways. So. Yeah, that was a tough time. That was a very tough time. <laughs> oh, if you can just hold on one second. <coughs> hold on. Hey, what's up? I'm on uh, I'm on YouTube, but go ahead. Okay. Yes. Go ahead. Okay, that sounds fine. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, I mean, if they if they're grad, you know, they're graduate students, which is leading on to being coming a doctorate. Yes. Does uh, is somebody giving you a hard time about that? Oh, oh okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. I'm on, I'm on. Okay, thank you. I'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> My daughter tends to um, call me sometimes with, she, she just asks me questions. Um, luckily, you know, I mean. I can help her sometimes. And she does really well with her job and she just has like, um, just checks occasionally to make sure things aren't right. Because in her previous job, she never had to write so much as far as uh, letters and things like that. She works at the university. So is anybody still here with me? I was wondering, what time is it? Oh, uh, any kinds of questions, please ask me. I'm here to answer. And I'll be here till 3 o'clock. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Any questions about art, how I do my art, what um, inspires me to do art. <laughs> That's sometimes the hard one, but... If you're interested, just let me know. Let me know. These are all lines. I have to get in there. Now, what I did uh, to do this, I first had a picture, and these are all apps that I've used. So the first one, this picture here, actually the picture that I took it from, is an app... Let's see, whoops, called Reface. And you can uh, put your picture in there and, you know, choose something. It can be vintage or, you know, today it could be a movie. It could be anything. Now, I found that 
my pictures from way back when uh, seem to work nicer. Of course, it looked better when I was younger. And I thought, I'd like to make this picture of me as in a vintage style. So um, I never did my own self-portrait. I did one. Well, I guess I actually did two. But uh, the first one I did, I was uh, just starting back into art and I didn't really care for it. The second one I did was sort of like an abstract expressionism. And I sold that picture. I couldn't believe somebody actually wanted that picture from me. So I think she wanted the frame. She th I think she liked the frame. I don't know. And then um, this is my next one. I thought, well, this ought to be fun. Um, I want to see if I can do something like that other one that I did. And uh, let's see, abstract. And then, um, so then after I did that, I went and I put the picture into another app. Let me show you that one. Or let me tell you what that's called. I can find it. Uh, it's called Vector Q. And it will kind of like if you're doing something grayscale. How about a grayscale? Oh, good. Thank you, Jess. I'm glad you're still here. So if you're doing something grayscale and you want to start your picture out like this, so I'm going to show you how I do this, um, it will separate the different areas of gray in your picture. And that's the first thing I'm going to do. And then we're going to like blend it all together like I did in the other picture, the other painting. Um, so it should be very nice. Turn out very nice. But, you know, you kind of do the flat part of it first. This would be flat part of it. And then you end up doing the other part of it, which is like, kind of dimensionalizing everything and that's what I'm going to try to do with this but those are apps that you can use on your phone and they can help you and it's always good to see kind of like the gray part of it even if you're doing something with color um it it just is uh helpful it just kind of gives you that little extra oomph, you know. Instead of using like a scale, uh, this will just kind of give you the scale itself. And I imagine you could uh, have a color picture and uh, make it grayscale in that also, and it gives you the tones, and then you can match the colors up to that. Oh, what are you painting, Jess? I know you have probably a lot of work to do. You've been busy, 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 busy girl. People liked your one a painting that you just did, didn't they? Uh, you had that for sale. Did you sell it? Um, the one that uh, oh, you that was that was really neat. How perfect everything was. Your um, your fence. I still can't get over how straight and your fences are. I mean, they are just amazing. I'm not very good with that straight stuff. This is, oh yeah, it's going on here, but I can't see it very well. <laughs> I probably should have used uh, a white graphite. Probably would have been better. So I may end up tracing this on, on tracing paper and uh, that way if I need to find my edges again, I can. So my poor Sally, she hasn't been feeling good today. I don't know what's wrong. Um, well, I do kind of know what's wrong. I bought a new dog food. I was 
she's she's uh got a lot of arthritis and i was trying to get something with well i have glucosamine that i give her in her food but this was supposed to help with joints and instead it just made her sick so um last night we were up quite a bit i feel like i am a parent again with um small kids okay so i'm gonna like put this up and over here because i know that it comes down and this is also part of the hair so you got to get every single piece in here a piece of line work in here just takes a long time to do this unfortunately okay. and then when you get to the sidebars here it's hard to keep in the line This is all like hair pieces here, uh, but I want to get those lines in there because I think I'm going to need them. Yeah, I think that coffee helped out a lot. Whew. I was so worn out. I don't know. Well, being up all night. Well, not all night, but most of it. Oh, congratulations. That's nice. It's always so nice when a painting sells. I have dog music on out there so it calms my dog because he's always barking. Always barking, my little grumpy. He's being pretty quiet today, so it must be pretty calming for him. I should try that at nighttime too.
Now, before I do any painting on this, I'm going to trace it on some tracing paper so that I can make sure I got everything here. Because there's so much here. And I'm feeling it. Finding out. Oh, here, look at this. You get all the nose. Yeah, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a tough thing. Yeah, I might have to go in with the um chalk in order to see this because I can't even see how to do it. Oh, we'll do that. But that's that's some of the ways that I start my stuff. What's going on here? I might lose this. I don't know here. We'll see. Uh, put video up here close to me. Oh, okay. Thanks for putting me on television. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, this is my lousy computer. Now I I'm not starting this painting because I have it a little too dark and I can't see it. Can't see all the lines. So what I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna trace that out with tracing paper and then use some um white uh past, uh you know charcoal or white um yeah, white. I have these little, where is that? This thing right here. Um, and I will use that in order to trace out. Okay. Okay. Now we're there. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, I lost, I lost. Yes. I knocked it out. I did. I knocked it out. Leave it to me. I knocked it out. This way I can see better because I'm still having an issue with my glasses, believe it or not. Uh, I have been through a lot there, uh, with my glasses. Um, that was another thing that happened. I went to this place, um, that was, told to me by my insurance to go. It was okay to go there. And um, I've had nothing but trouble. They can't seem to figure out how to um, do that uh, transitioning from my regular to my bifocal without it being all like a, being in a fishbowl. So uh, what happened is I, I went in October to get them checked my eyes. They had changed and I couldn't see out of my glasses and I kept going up for like um, adjustments. And every time the adjustments were made, nothing changed. It would just, you know, still be the same because so I couldn't tell unless I was looking at television or reading. Yeah, I got some sparkle back there. A little sparkle. Uh, <laughs> my little lights. So, yeah, so uh, it ended up that I had to pay extra to get my glasses again, uh, the glass part into my new frames. Paid almost $300 for that again. So my glasses are costing me over $600 for a pair of glasses. And I can't seem to get that money. 
And I, I don't think that community eye care is a good place to go. So um, now they're working on, uh, they, they figured it out that yes, that progressive lens is not right. So now I'm waiting for those glasses to come back. So I haven't had a good pair of glasses since October. And these ones are old and I can't see very well out of them. Yeah, what did you think about her uh, dance and painting? That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Yeah, she really... <laughs> she cracks me up, that girl. <laughs> I mean, she was really going into it, wasn't she? Did you see it, Anthony? Did you see it? I mean, it was funny. It was funny. Yeah, she's a character. Yep. I I can actually, yeah, apparently you can't put some music in here. I should try that. Let's see. Uh, here's one. Uh, night driving. See what that's like. So we can all go to sleep. And then, um, let's see. I also came up with a countdown. With my little count. I'll let you. I want you guys to see this countdown. It's pretty funny. Okay, here it goes. I love it. It's so cute. That's so cute. Oh, she has, she's brave because I, I wouldn't do that. I, I mean, I still haven't done my uh, dance like she does. I, I bought my sparkle top. I still haven't been, I, I have, if I could do it, I don't want to kill myself with that. Oh, isn't that cute? I thought that was cute. I found that today. Yeah. Yeah, she's, uh, <laughs> She's funny. She's she's a good one. She uh, does does come up with some great things. Let's see. I'm gonna go onto my channel here and see what we're doing. Uh, my channel. Oh yeah, here we go live. I I'd like to be able to remove that bottom part. You know. Well. We're having another problem uh, with streaming. Apparently, we won't be able to simulcast again. I don't know until I get it figured out. Uh, I contacted Google this morning. Um, Google, uh, Diana was in uh, with them yesterday. I contacted them, but they want to see what happens um, when Diana tries to go into StreamYard and um, so we'll see what happens. I don't know. New things that go on. It's just crazy. So I think too they were doing it, uh, something together. Like I said, we're going to do something with our left hand. or she, I don't know if she's right-handed or left-handed. I can't use my left hand for anything, but this ought to be good. This ought to be fun. Well, I guess if no one has any questions, um, I am going to uh, end this stream. And we will be back tomorrow night at 7 o'clock uh, live. I have a live. It looks like I froze here. Oh, I just it was just... Uh, yeah, it's better. Yeah, so uh, I'll be back here tomorrow night at 7. I have a musician. He's a live musician. I don't have anything for Sunday. Um, I wanted to just take a little break. Uh, so, yeah, so we'll see how that turns out with the musician. He's a guitarist from Pittsburgh. I'm trying to do Pittsburgh people because, you know, there's so many, so much talent here. And I just want to kind of like focus on Pittsburgh for a while. Um, but if you like, if you would like to see something else, let me know if you would like me to, um, other people because I, I you know like I don't even know if I want to continue to interview after May <laughs> I mean I, you know I don't know what type of people to interview I mean that's kind of like my 
niche, my niche, but I don't know what everybody else would like to see. So if, um, if you're interested in something else, let me know. All right. I guess that's it for now. Um, you guys have a nice day. Have a good weekend. I hope to see you tomorrow night at seven, uh, for the live. Uh, I believe he's going to play something. I don't know what kind of music he does. But hopefully it won't be too crazy. So I guess you'll, you'll kind of see when he, he comes on, right? <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks again. And uh, we'll see you. See you tomorrow. Live again. I'm just going to keep everything plugged in like I have it. Hopefully that this will work. Uh, We'll see what goes on. All right. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye.